That's right, court documents revealing new details about what police believe happened just before a Portsmouth teenager was killed and how her body ended up in a cemetery. Officers arrested a 14-year-old boy, and we now know a 27-year-old woman is accused of helping dispose of the teenager's body nearly two years ago. Reporter Kofo Lasaki breaks down the chilling details. Court documents reveal police believe 17-year-old Nitasia Hicks was killed at a home here at the Charlestown condominiums nearly two years ago. And then they believe someone dropped her body off at a cemetery less than three miles away. Court documents shed light on what police believe happened the night a teenage mother was killed in Portsmouth. And I don't know how to be weak. Well, this hurts really bad. They do. Police discovered the body of 17 year old Nitasia Hicks at Evergreen Memorial Cemetery the night of July 27, 2019. A juvenile was charged with felony murder back in April, and court documents now reveal police also arrested 27 year old Simone Worrell in March. She's charged with the felony and two misdemeanors in connection to dumping Nitasia's body in the cemetery. According to a criminal complaint made by police, Natasia came to Worrell's home at the Charlestown condominiums after Worrell agreed to pay Natasia $200 to babysit her children. The documents allege that a 14-year-old boy was also at the home at the same time. According to the documents, police say the teenage boy initially told them he retrieved a gun from Worrell's home and gave it to Natasia to hold, and the gun went off. Court documents state the teen changed his story to say he struggled to get the weapon from Nitasia when it went off, but police told the teen the forensic evidence didn't match up with the story. Documents state that in both versions of the boy's story, he told police that he tried to stop the bleeding and tried to call 911, but Worrell hung up the phone stating she was a felon. Police alleged that Worrell's father made the initial 911 call that helped police find Nitasia's body after his daughter told him to send police to the cemetery. According to the court documents, Worrell told a witness she and her boyfriend took the 17-year-old's body to the graveyard. Worrell was released on bail. Her next court date is set for August. In Portsmouth, Kofalasaki, News 3.